What's going on boys and girls and welcome back to another episode on the Versatorix Gaming Channel. Today we are looking at the Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat. What a vehicle. Like In real life this thing is a menace and I hope that translates into the game. Now we are trying out a different webcam position. I want to see if you, you guys prefer seeing the actual wheel in the uh, in the game. But obviously I'm going to, every now and then I'm going to look up here because that's where I'm used to the camera being. So it's going to be quite interesting to see if this is a better position. Don't like the fact that the mic's in the in the shop, but we'll, we'll, we'll have to work with it for now. We'll work for it with it for now. So let's get into the game. Let's drive this vehicle. It is a wonderfully modded vehicle, this one. The Hellcat SRT. Absolutely gorgeous, especially in this grey metallic colour. I didn't like the fact there wasn't any option to do any modifications to it. But in all honesty, when you're looking at a Dodge Hellcat, like, do you need to modify this? It is perfection already. Let's go into the cockpit. And you can see that this is a very good, high quality mod. The interior is absolutely stunning. It is beautiful. You can't turn all the way back into the back though, which is a little bit disappointing. I've accidentally clicked that. Let's see what it sounds like on startup. Let's get nice and, nice and close, and we will start. Hear it up. There you go, you can hear it. And why is it every time I start these up, these cars, there's always a police car going off in the background. So, we are in neutral, we put the handbrake on. I mean, it doesn't sound standard, and it might sound a little bit better once we are driving on the road. But I am going to sort of switch between driving in first person and driving in second person. The only problem with driving in this view, it's third person rather, the only problem with driving in this view is that I cannot see the map, which is a little unfortunate. So we are going to start in this view. I'm going to take the handbrake off there and we're going to go into first gear. Now, I don't know what the fuel consumption is like on this vehicle. I do not like the fact that I can see a character in the uh, in the view there. But it is what it is. It's how the mod is set up. Now, this is a rear wheel drive car. So, it's going to be interesting to see how I get on with it. You know I don't like uh, my rear wheel, wheel drive vehicles as much as other vehicles. I mean, there's a copper there, but I feel like we should just, you know, let's do it. It picks up quick, though. What's the braking like? The braking is average at best. But I feel like this vehicle probably a little twitchy. It sounds the part, to be fair, inside this cockpit. It sounds better than uh, it did than I, when I first tried out. Now, the steering wheel is screaming at me to change gear. But looking at my rev counter, I don't need to. It's a weird sort of thing with these modded cars. It happens with a lot of them. There you go, there's the, there's the, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh, oh wow. Well there we go then, that's, that's the end of the Alcat video. <laughs> oh no, that I was not expecting. Okay, so, I tried to slow down there as we went into that corner, and it just spun, and by that point I couldn't, Keep it in control, and that was the end of that. Let's uh, let's fix her up. We're we're already at the service station. Like, why am I not uh, able to? There we go. Let's let's just fix her back up because she took a bit of a beat in there. So, <laughs> note to self: she is very very skittish. At high speed. And it will be that rear wheel drive that caused it. It 
Could even be the, the gear I was in. Now this is, I think it's 707 horsepower. And you can see that she just wants to pick up and she wants to absolutely fly. The thing is, she absolutely looks apart when you're driving it. Oh, you can see the steering is very light all of a sudden. Now, I assume she's going to drink fuel massively as well. You can feel the speed wobble there. Just take off the, brake, the accelerator a little bit. This thing actually feels scary to drive as well. I feel like I have to be on the ball with this. That's a, I mean, 700 horsepower is a lot of power going to rear. I looked at the cab from place on the camera again. That's a lot of power to be going through rear wheel drive. Oh, you know what I mean? Rear wheel drive. Uh, oh, what's the word? I ain't going to be able to stop here. I'm going to assume nobody was coming. Yeah, rear wheel drive is very scary with 700 horses pushing it. You can see I'm a little bit nervous about going anywhere too fast on this. She is so skittish in the corners. I like it. It's, fit. it's like a fear to drive in this vehicle over this bro if there's nothing coming I can't see we're gonna go for it can we jump will, will it jump it will jump <laughs> it'll jump that's brilliant wait is that fuel whoa 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 is that fuel gauge working is this a working fuel gauge a while since I've seen one of them in one of these vehicles. Oh lord. This is brilliant. mod I recommend anybody get. This is sick. Oh lord. Oh bus, 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 bus. Oh I'm gonna crash, I'm gonna crash, I'm gonna crash. No I'm not. Yes I am. No I'm not. Okay we're good. Oh! That was fear. You can see she just does not turn around the corners very well though if you're uh, you've accelerated just before the corner. Which I suppose Rear wheel drive cars won't do so much anyway. You can see she just slides and then you dab the brakes and you're in trouble. <laughs> what a car. What a mod. Let's, let's take it outside. Let's have a look outside at uh, this point. She is a, as poppy and bangy as I was expecting. I was expecting her to be a bit more poppy and bangy than what she is. But honestly, I don't actually mind the fact that she's not. In a weird sort of way. Return indicated work. Oh, oh no, I'm in trouble. <laughs> A little bit. I don't even know what speed we're doing. I don't know if we're supposed to be turning off at any point. No, nothing. I'm just enjoying driving the vehicle at this moment. 
Now I do want to go in back into the cockpit in a minute just to see what the uh, the gauge is doing. I do think this is a working fuel gauge. This fuel gauge appears to be moving. I don't know what's around this corner. I don't see nothing. around this corner we'll go around the next corner and we'll look to uh, look to overtake there's nothing coming oh it is beautiful It's like there's some of these mods that really do put a smile on your face and this is definitely one of them. This is definitely one of those mods. It is, it is, it is superb. It is superb. Oh lord! That was a little bit of a drift starting to happen there. Don't have a car, please. Don't have a car, please. Don't have a car. Yeah, we're up. Look at this for a windy road as well. I know this is a different kind of uh, video to what we normally do. Whoa! <laughs> I know we don't normally do uh, live comments on these videos, but oh my days, I had to do one for this thing. It is literally dragging me all over the place. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh my days, this is what I'm saying, like this is this thing. It only takes one little thing and off it goes. Oh. <laughs> it is so fun. I think I could spend hours playing with this vehicle. Absolutely hours.
Like, where, where did we? Where is, where are we supposed to be getting to? Oh no, it took us to, oh no. Oh no, we're not finishing there. There is no, we're gonna, we'll, we'll do this road. We'll do this road. It took us to the place that I was gonna finish us. No, it's not doing that. We're not doing that. We're finishing here. We're not finishing here. At all. We're not doing that at all. Why is it making me turn around? What, what's this? Can I not just turn, like, right out of here? Like, what's all this? I just want to go up there, man. Why do I have to turn around? Is it because I think so I'm facing that way? Oh, man. Here we go. Right. Don't crash again. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Oh, this is having me giggling. Let's go. <laughs> oh. Get out of me way. Let's actually try and get to a destination without rolling the thing. <laughs> thing is a monster. I love it. Like. Honestly, if you want a fun car mod in your ATS game, this is probably this is probably the one. This is probably the one. This thing is just rapid and so enjoyable to drive as well. Oh no! Ooh! <laughs> Which I like it, but wow. It's such a smile to my face, this. Oh, no, it does not steer. Ah, oh, door! Jesus! Like the littlest movement, and it goes all over the place. Oh, 
what a machine. What an absolute machine. What a mod. What a mod this is. Honestly guys, if you're looking for a decent, uh, I say a decent, a good mod, a fast mod, a fun mod, it has to be this one. This is superb. Honest to God, this is brilliant. This is absolutely superb, this little Hellcat SRT. And it looks superb. Honestly, guys, get one of these. Just one more for the before we go. Oh, it sounds so good. But that is going to end today's video, guys. If you have enjoyed it, then please drop a like. Subscribe to the channel for more daily content. And I will see you next time. Have a good one, guys.